Good afternoon, employee. Good afternoon, boss. It is truly afternoon, and we actually haven't done any work today. We haven't done any work today. Kids We've, have dentists. Yeah. Uh, so. That's why owning your own lawn care business gives you flexible schedule. Is a benefit, yep. When you have four children that need to go to the dentist every six months. Yeah, so today we are going to do an estimate and mm -hmm. because we have one lawn that's all the way out there we might yeah. as well go mow that lawn so i don't have to go out i'm going to do the estimate anyway so so this morning was the end of our cold snap anyway it yeah. you know now it's starting to get a little bit warmer again which you know we didn't want to show up at anybody's house anyway when it snow on the ground ice yeah. on the grass we're gonna mow the big one tomorrow so, yep, we're going to mow the big one tomorrow. And a guest appearance. Who do you guys think it's going to be? Going to come and help us. Who do you think? We actually asked somebody to come help us, and they are coming. So, leave a comment below. I'll put this video up real quick today so that you guys can let us know who you think is going to come help us tomorrow with the I big... I don't have another mower. We really can't swing another mower until probably a whole couple weeks or a month. Mm -hmm. And normally our season doesn't start until later. And I just wanted to have help on this one. It needs to be yeah. cut. So we're going to have him helping us for a little while until we can get a new mower. And then yeah. we'll see what happens. But it'll be two of us out there with big mowers. And the boss will be out there with her. <laughs> with my new trimmer leader, I mean her battery powered trimmer <laughs> so, so so today I'm actually using it for the first time on a so. property and mm -hmm. it's a bigger yard, property and half the yard's a beautiful yard so you can't mess up the lawn okay so so I have to be really careful so I might just actually trim the tree line and no you can do a lawn you're, you'll do we'll the tree see. line first and then get along the house. And then I'll feel a little bit more comfortable. Yeah. So. so, yeah. So, we'll, I'll give you guys some information on how long I think that the battery is going to last. Um, we charged it last night and it charged super quick. So, that was surprising. So, as of right now, I have only been pleasantly surprised with this machine. Yeah. So, we'll see over I mean, the long term what happens. So. Yeah. Hey, the way I look at it is, it, what it was it, two hundred and thirty dollars? Mm -hmm. Because it's, we got the ec the bigger battery. It's so. an investment that will get Rachel weed eating, um, and doing all that with the weed eater instead yes. of me doing the mowing and then jumping on the weed eater. She can now feel comfortable. Whoa. She Somebody can now turning. feel comfortable going out there, picking it up, and not worrying about messing up lawns and then the weed yeah. and the, the length. So, and, it, and eventually, it, we do want to actually invest in more battery equipment. Just a little handheld blower, so if we miss something, you can pull it right out and blow off with it. Right. You know, I mean, I, I think it's gonna it's gonna gain us time. That's what it's gonna. And do. let me tell you guys, I was actually looking into the warranty. And the warranty is three years for uh, for homeowner, but it is a homeowner's weed eater. So um, I think three it's years. two years still for us. Two years still for if it says if you're using it for commercial, two years. So not a bad deal, you know, for a quick little finishing trimmer. So yeah, I can think of a lot of places it's going to help. Yeah, you know, that I would always use a big mower, and there was no point with the thirty inch. And you would just blow off and go pull weeds. Now you can edge mm -hmm. and trim. <laughs> we'll we'll see. see. Got done that estimate, guys. Um, we didn't get much recording of the. We didn't get any recording of the boss using her weed eater because we no. were kind of running behind to get to that estimate. But 
it it died after the one yard but it might have been because we only charged it for maybe 90 minutes last night i seen it got up to full charge and i just automatically took it off but so. it's brand new so it might need right. an overnight charge it so. might need a full charge i might not have fully charged it um but i think that it does a great fantastic job for the boss yeah she for her first time she did pretty good i gotta say my complaints on it is it needs a heavier string and i'm used to using a gas powered one so right it's a little you've never really weed eaten no uh, so you learning on this is, is a very positive thing and like i said it's a quick thing that you can jump off and help us mm -hmm. help so me. what it is it's a 0 0.80 0.85 i think oh 0.85 i thought it was 0 0.80 or 0 0.80 I like so some. we just wanted to do a quick video and like rachel said earlier in the video we're gonna have somebody mowing with us tomorrow yeah so um, who do you guys think it is make sure you comment below you guys try to guess i can tell you that some of you guys that have gone to g g i e have met this person yeah so mm -hmm. we'll see if you can guess yeah and we really appreciate him coming to help us yeah so one last thing we wanted to remind you guys go check out brad with copper creeks we have that free webinar coming up on march 24th again it's called spring into action and i will put a link at the end of this video so that you can go check out brad and his spring into action webinar and we're going to be live on there i think we're going to be live I've on there i've never done a live i'm kind of scared <laughs> I think we can do it though. You think so? And it will be exciting for you guys to tune in and maybe win some prizes. And hey, it's a free webinar. What do you have to lose? Please like, comment, and subscribe. And the client that we just went to go do an estimate for said, I just can't help but be happy. <laughs> that was awesome, wasn't it? Have a good night. Baby bump head. Ooh bump head the plastic piece off did it come out now it sounded like it might have come out now it's stuck for some reason the battery is completely dead the battery is completely dead now so I figured now. out how to put the string in it was a little easier, a little faster. Still a pain in the butt loading this thing, the string in here. Um, but we'll see. We're going to charge the battery and see if it lasts. Yeah. So I it lasted mean, about an hour of use today. Either way, I mean, it's good for Rachel. Yeah. It, it helps her go and finish stuff. I don't really think with the power this thing does and uh, the string is going to wear down too much on you, too fast. So probably won't have to load as fast as the other one. But we'll yeah. see. We're going to charge the battery and see if Rachel can make it through that whole three acres tomorrow. All right.